Siliana Gaspard, the widow of former WWE superstar Shad Gaspard, is seeking damages for the circumstances which led to her husband's death. 2020 has been a year of loss for a number of us in a variety of different ways. It has also applied to the wrestling world as fans have been forced to say goodbye to legends such as Pat Patterson and Joe Laurinaitis, better known to fans as Road Warrior Animal. However, perhaps the most heartbreaking loss was that of Shad Gaspard. Gaspard was declared missing after he and his son were caught in a riptide off the coast of Venice Beach. When lifeguards attempted to save the former WWE superstar, he instructed them to take his son to shore first. That's what they did, saving the 10-year-old. However, when they returned to save Gaspard, they were unable to find him. The wrestling world collectively hoped for a miracle, but three days later Gaspar's body was discovered. Yeah, good morning to you. You know, the search went on to find Gaspard for a couple of days, but the Coast Guard had to call it off. They called it off just yesterday. Now, early this morning, we have confirmation that his body did indeed wash up here in Venice Beach. In a year so jam-packed with bad news, it's hard to believe that it has already been seven months since Gaspard passed away. This week, it was reported that Gaspar's widow Siliana is seeking damages from the state of California, Los Angeles County, and Los Angeles claiming negligence led to her husband's death. The Los Angeles Daily Times reports that Siliana is claiming there were insufficient signs warning of the dangers of swimming, where Gaspard and her son got caught in the current. The claims also include that the lifeguards who saved her son, and attempted to save her husband, were understaffed and not properly trained, and that they did not bring the proper equipment. Siliana also alleges that those same lifeguards left her husband in the water to die. While many in the wrestling world will have been hit hard by Gaspar's passing, it's hard for any of us to comprehend what Siliana and her son have been through this year. It's likely that Siliana is angry about what happened and is looking for someone to blame there might well be someone to blame. As of right now, there are too few details revealed about the claim to determine whether that is the case or not.